A new FDA approved drug to treat early onset Alzheimer's disease is now being offered at UW Medicine. It's the first West Coast hospital to offer it. It's giving hope to delay the effects of a devastating disease that to this day has no cure. King Fire's Christine Pay sits down with a patient who is receiving that medication on this week's Health Link. I'm 78 and uh, lived in Seattle most of my life. For someone recently diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, Andrea Gilbert remembers things remarkably well. My dad was in the newspaper business. Uh, he was with the Associated Press, and uh, then he eventually went to work for Boeing. So I kind of followed his lead, and I thought for sure I really wanted to be in the newspaper business. Following her father's lead, she did when she returned to Seattle after attending college at Tulane. And at that point, I started working immediately at the Seattle Times. Gilbert started as a copy girl and eventually a cub reporter where she covered it all. And one year when the circus came to town, she got a ride on an elephant for a parade on 4th Avenue. We rode all the way from the train station to the Seattle Center and back in the hot sun on these very unhappy elephants. Memories that are still vivid for Gilbert. Memories that one day she may not remember because of her diagnosis. I think it's almost embarrassing to tell people that you have it because then they're gonna think less of you than maybe you really are. You went to UW Law, right? Yeah. After her reporting career, Gilbert turned to a career in law. I went to the UW bookstore and bought three of these books for practicing the LSATs. Yeah. And uh, actually did pretty well on the LSAT. She got a full scholarship for UW Law School and later started a law firm and practiced divorce law until she was about 70 years old. You really get to know people that are your clients. As much as she remembers her past, Gilbert still recalls the day about a year ago when she knew something was wrong. So I was out in Kirkland. It was pitch black. It was like 11 o'clock at night or something. I was coming home from a friend's house. And I just got totally lost. Okay. Several tests and MRIs later. And, and then they discovered that it was Alzheimer's. So Alzheimer's disease, as you know, is a progressive condition. Dr. Thomas Grabowski is a neurologist and medical director of Harborview's Memory and Brain Wellness Center. He says Gilbert has mild cognitive impairment, an ideal candidate for UW Medicine's rollout of a new treatment called lecanemab to slow down the effects of Alzheimer's disease. Lecanemab is an antibody that binds to the proteins that cause plaque buildup in Alzheimer's patients and makes it easier for the body to remove that damaging buildup from the brain. Clinical trials have shown a 27 percent slowing of cognitive decline when taking the medication for 18 months. I think what makes me optimistic about the medicine is that the data show both that there's an improvement in the clinical course and an impact on the biology of the disease. Yeah, that should all work pretty automatically. The results are positive, but modest. I um, tell my patients this is not a cure. This is medicine. And you're going to do great. Gilbert is among the first patients to receive the drug at Harborview, one of the okay. first West Coast hospitals to give infusions for qualifying patients. Spreading word of the new treatment convinced her to open up about her journey. I thought, geez, I don't really want to broadcast this as part of me. But I thought it over and I thought, well, maybe it's helpful for other people. So I said, yeah. Andrea Gilbert will receive the new drug infusion for a year and a half. Remember, it is designed for patients with mild Alzheimer's disease. Those interested in lecanemab, that medication, can speak to their doctors for referral. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.